Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have yet another huge cumulative thrift outlet haul to bring you guys. I went back to, once again, my favorite stores here in Houston, my favorite outlet stores, both the Goodwill Outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill Bins, where you pay by the pound. Here in Houston, it is $2.19 per pound. And I also went to the Family Thrift Center outlet where everything is priced at $2 and under. The days that I go, which is Thursday, everything in the store is $2. So for each of these pieces, I paid right around that $2 mark. I have about 60 items here. As always, I will start off with shoes, accessories, and then get into clothing. So. Starting off, we have this scarf. It's a leopard print, which is definitely probably like my top, in my top three favorite prints. We, it is actually new with tags, Torrid, and the original retail is $23. It's very, very soft. It's large. You could use this, you know, you could like drape it around your shoulders and wear it as like a wrap or you could bundle it up and just have like a big scarf in front. You could also even use that as a blanket. Okay, a couple pairs of shoes here. We have Allbirds. I haven't cleaned these or spruced them up at all yet, but they are in pretty good shape. They are just the classic wool runner from Allbirds. They're a women's size nine. Let me see. Yeah, it says all birds here and back. This is a very popular brand. People are loving it, especially going into the fall time. These are 100% merino wool and very high quality shoes. Going back to the leopard, we have these calf hair upper pointed toe heels. They have a little ankle strap. Once again, the heels do need to be cleaned up a little bit. I haven't cleaned these shoes or photoed them yet, um, but the heels are in really good shape. The actual heel caps are in good shape. I'm just going to use my suede brush on that. The brand is Kelly and Katie, which I think is just like a little boutique brand, but the fact that these had a genuine calf hair upper with the leopard print, I did want to grab them. These are a size seven and a half. Last pair of shoes, Zalo. I've seen this brand a couple times, but I don't think they've ever been in good enough condition for me to pick them up. However, these are in excellent shape. The sole is leather. If you can see this back heel here, they are really going strong. I don't think Looks like someone maybe wore these once or twice. They're size eight and a half, and I absolutely loved this little butterfly, butterfly print to the tapestry upper. All of this piping here is genuine leather, so really high quality shoes. That combined with the novelty butter, butterfly print, I think these should do super well. Okay, I think our last accessory here is this Harley Davidson belt. It's like a metal and it says Harley Davidson etched into each of these metal links here. Going all the way down and then it, they are met with a genuine leather black kind of base to the belt. So really cool. I have no idea what size it is. I think it is pretty small. It has a stamp here. I can't read what that says, but yeah, anything Harley Davidson that has a really neat kind of logo to it, I will always grab. Okay, moving into clothing now, our first piece, starting off with something very vibrant. We have this Jams World dress. It's a midi dress with a, it's like a tulip, floral print if you guys can see that it's like um almost like a brush stroke plaid print it does have pockets and this brand has always sold extremely sold extremely well for me jams world size small um, sometimes it's made in hawaii sometimes it's not but 
Uh, people seem to look out for the pieces. Next we have a really solid find. This is rails, size large. And this is a wool and cashmere blend sweater with stars, super cute very high quality this is very very soft and cozy when you combine that with this really fun whimsical star print you have a very sellable item here okay this i picked up based on the size as well as the material the brand is beacon cove which really doesn't mean anything to me i just um, liked that it was 100 percent linen Again, it's a size large, it has that high-low hem, and dresses in this cut that are 100% linen sell very well. They have that lagging look vibe. I will add that as a keyword, lagging look, artsy, boho. Next, a Tory Burch skirt. I haven't found Tory Burch clothing in a while now. This is a size large. And I think this is 100% wool. It's a, uh, it's like a scalloped design, especially here at the bottom hem. You have that scallop going on with a metallic weave. So really pretty. This would be really nice to wear, you know, with tights and heels or booties. It has an elastic waist and it is fully lined. Another new with tags item, we have MNG, which I think is Mango. I think that's how you say the brand. I think it's like kind of equivalent to Zara. And this is a size large. I, yeah, size large or size 10. It has this kind of micro houndstooth print to it, which I thought was a really classic, um, print and look. It's like a longer length dress. This is great for career wear. And once again, it is new with tags. It zips down and back. So this is a great, you know, just kind of closet staple for someone. I recently learned about this brand. Well, not too recently, but it in philanthropy, it has a very high re- tail price and it seems to hold its resale value pretty well this sweater might sell for around 40 to 50 dollars which is great it has all these cutouts it's really hard to kind of show you guys this will be listed um, if you want a better look at you know how it looks on but it has all these cutouts around the shoulders and then the base is just a solid gray color and the fabric content, 90% wool, 10% cashmere. So that fabric content really does elevate the quality. It's a size extra small. I was very happy to find that. Oh, and these. So these are vintage ski pants. I have never sold this brand of vintage ski pants before, Bogner, but I have sold Obermeyer ski pants. I believe Bogner is a little bit higher retail than Obermeyer. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure Bogner is really good. And these are the exact style of the Obermeyer pants I have sold before. They have these stirrups at the bottom of the leg and they are a wool blend. Very, very high quality. These look and feel very expensive. I don't actually know what the retail was on these, but you know, they can resell for over a hundred dollars. They say, they say they're a size 12 and they are 34% wool. If you guys see ski pants when you're out and about sourcing, I would highly suggest you guys pick them up. People are going to start looking for them, searching for them before they go on their, or getting ready for their winter trips, um, you know, coming up in a couple seasons from now. Free people this rust colored sweater. I believe I sold this when I very first started reselling and I have found it once again. It has these kind of like lace inserts all throughout and then a little keyhole opening and back. 
It's long line. I love this color and this is a size small. Madewell, ex-boyfriend, button down shirt. I'm pretty selective with Madewell and I actually almost put this one back, but I did type in the style number to Google and I found the style name and then I plugged that into Poshmark to check the sold and it looked like it had sold several times in the past for around $25 to $30. So I did get it. It's a size small, but it is oversized. The style name is like the ex-boyfriend button down shirt. So you know, it's supposed to have that kind of loose worn in fit. Some more Torrid. Torrid is definitely a very consistent seller for me. 3X, it brings a lot of traffic to my closet. And you know, that's always a good thing because people will come, they will bundle the Torrid and then, you know, they will find other things to buy. So um, this is a long line, kind of loose knit cardigan, black cardigan. And I loved the distressing towards the bottom hem, if you guys can see that. It looks like, kind of looks like a bear attacked you, but that is a very kind of trendy look. I like it. You know, it's kind of that grunge style. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see this very well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really cute and it is very soft. Let me see. It's probably just acrylic, but it feels, it feels very soft. Yeah, 100% acrylic. These are not 100% acrylic. These are cashmere and wool. Yeah, 70% wool, 30% cashmere. And they are a high-waisted, ribbed, wide leg pant. Incredibly soft. They honestly feel like 100% cashmere. They have this ribbing all throughout. And then when you get to the bottom hem, the rib, the ribbing kind of like switches up um, you know, switches a little bit. And these did not have a brand. I just pulled them out of a bin. This is the only tag that they have. There was no RN number, nothing to give away where these would have been sold. But that's fine. Honestly, they will sell based on material and style. They're a size small. Bowden, size four regular. This is called the Phoebe dress and it is incredibly popular from Bowdoin. It's a very popular cut and style. It's like a long line, slub, just basic dress. It's incredibly flattering with the defined waist. You have little pockets here. This is the tag. This Phoebe dress specifically from Bowdoin consistently sells for around $35, $45. Next up we have a Lulu's wrap dress and dresses like this sell very well for me from Lulu's, like, you know, very flirty and fun, especially the long line dresses, size medium. It has a floral print and it is a true wrap dress. And then this bottom hem is just kind of jagged, like a handkerchief hem with a high-low um, cut, really nice. 100% cashmere. That was pretty much the sole reason I picked this piece up. C by Bloomingdale's 100% two, two ply cashmere size medium. I grabbed a couple 100% cashmere sweaters that I think they were also this C by Bloomingdale's um, brand and they sold very quickly for I want to say like 30 to 35 dollars ish. So I liked this, you know, you could very easily layer a tank underneath and wear a hat, like a black wool hat with a black tank underneath and this over, that would be really cute fall time outfit. We have bread and butter here, tried and true, American Eagle, light wash, mom jeans, they have intentional whispering, that's these lines here, as well as fading and distressing. Lots of distressing at the knees. These are a size six short. Yeah, really good shape. 
I loved this Sparrow by Anthropology. This is a size small. This is a little bit of a more dated item from Anthropology, but honestly, that will help this piece sell just because people love this kind of classic Fair Isle Nordic print. It's also 100% lamb's wool, very, very quality piece. I love the colors. It's in excellent shape once again, no pilling. It has two little pockets in front, super cute. This whole like Fair Isle printed wool or cashmere sweaters, you know, I always love to stock up on them going into winter time. I will buy them with no brands, so it's a plus that that is anthropology. Lauren Moshi, this is definitely a tag to remember. This brand has a very high retail price. This sweater was probably close to $200 originally, and it is sold on Revolve, the brand is. This is a graphic sweater. It says peace and love, and then, you know, there's the peace sign. It's like a, it's like between a pale and hot pink, I guess more pale pink. And she usually has her signature somewhere within the graphic. There it is there. This is a size extra small. This should probably sell for $40 to $50. Jay McLaughlin 100% silk kind of paisley printed dress here. I grabbed this from the bins. It is extremely lightweight. I probably paid about 70, 75 cents for this, size small. Um, I think it's, is it a paisley print? It's, yeah, it's like a paisley print. And it has a little ruffle here at the neckline with an elastic flattering waist. And then it is a shorter length. It's like a slip style dress and really cute. That'd be adorable with a denim jacket over. Okay, this is another very consistent seller for me. This is a Prana athleisure slash athletic style dress. Um, you know, just something you can throw on and wear with like some Tevas on a little outdoor hike. Has a strappy back. This is the Prana logo. There we go. And let me show you, this is the tag here size medium once again this is in excellent shape i always whenever i find dresses like these i always just kind of check this inner um kind of bra area to see if there's you know a huge amount of pilling or anything like that and this one didn't really have any so that always just kind of shows me that it hasn't been worn much another brand i absolutely love to sell flax again it brings a lot of traffic to my closet People seem to really like it. Um, a lot of the pieces are 100% linen. This dress is no exception. It's like this chocolate brown color, midi length, and this does have pockets. It's a size medium. People seem to love 100% linen dresses that are midi length, maxi length. Um, they are very popular. More free people, size small. This is a little plaid, uh, kind of tunic top, maybe not tunic top, not quite tunic length, but it is longer in the back. And I really like this little ruffle at the bottom hem, really cute. I have a pair of Zara pants, Zara basic. I just like the paper bag waist on these with the little tie. It has a high waist as well. You guys can see that. Kind of a wider leg and then a cropped length. So lots of trendiness happening with these pants. They are a size six. This is one of the older Zara tags, which I don't, I definitely don't always pick it up. But you know, the fact that these had so much going for them, I did get them. Blue and gray. This is called the Boucle Poncho Sweater. And I got this because poncho style sweaters sell very well. They're very popular. 
and this also is a wool blend so you know it has that little bit higher quality fabric content going on with the ribbed edges there really cute this is extra small to small these are just forever 21 but anytime I see overalls I usually buy them just because people seem to love overalls these are in excellent condition and you know these were probably still like 35 or 40 dollars at, at forever 21 and so i think there's still you know definitely room to make a profit there when i'm picking them up for two these are size extra small and you know the quality is really good on them so yeah happy to find those just a basic kind of throw on and go easy top logo by Lori goldstein i definitely like finding this size medium um, her stuff sells pretty well for me it's a super soft jersey blend long line tunic top it's like a heathered gray almost and i think it's like a shark bite hem let me see this is probably rayon spandex yeah 95% rayon, 5% spandex. So very, very soft and stretchy. That fabric makeup is called a jersey knit. And some people search for jersey knit because they know that it's incredibly soft, stretchy, comfortable. So that is kind of a keyword there. We have another bag coming in. Okay, last item from the first bag are these soft surroundings pants. They're a size 3X and they are 58% linen. So the fact that they're a larger size and they are a linen blend, we definitely had to get them. I think they are super marketable, sellable. I loved this kind of burnt orange color and they are in excellent shape. The pockets are still sewn shut. So looks like no one ever wore those and they are definitely a solid seller. Okay, how adorable is this little sweater? Brace yourselves. This is a vintage Wizard of Oz crew neck, like toddler sweater. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. The tag just says size large, so I don't know, you know, what actual size it is I will just have to include measurements this is a tag I'm not sure when it's from I really have no idea um, but it says 50th anniversary on it Wizard of Oz so cute it's like baby pink I cannot wait to get this listed and send it off to a new home I think you know can you imagine a little toddler who loves the Wizard of Oz movie can, you know, rock this tiny adorable sweater? This is another Ben's grab. It's new with tags, Victoria's Secret, like a little corset top. And it's very strappy. It has like these straps at the actual bra part. And then very strappy once again in back. It was originally $68. This is the tag. I'm sure you guys are familiar, you know, with what Victoria's Secret looks like. This is a really fun, cozy piece. I cannot wait to get this listed. It is, of course, Free People. Super oversized, chunky knit, kind of dolman sleeve, striped sweater pockets here in front just so cozy adorable over leggings this is a size small believe it or not you guys know what the free people tag looks like let me see what this fabric content is acrylic nylon 29 percent wool and then it does have 10 percent alpaca so very happy with this great fall time staple speaking of fall time staples this is thread and supply one size fits most i actually recently sold this cardigan it's the exact same cardigan but it was in a beige color 
This is like a color block, two-tone gray, and but the material is the same as the tan one I sold. It's like this incredibly soft, plush material. It is a dupe for the Barefoot Dreams cardigan. So if you let, if you guys like Barefoot Dreams, um, this sweater is very comparable. I definitely don't always pick up Nike stuff, usually because it's been worn a lot, but this was in great shape. It's a size extra large. It's just a black crew neck, kind of boxy fit sweater. It's seam sealed at the upper arms. And then, let me see, there's a logo somewhere. Yeah, it has this logo at the bottom of the arm. Did I mention it is a size, yeah, it's a size extra large. This says track and field. I know I showed that really quickly, but you know, just a great little basic kind of athleisure wear. This, okay, so this is a leopard printed um, little slip, 100% silk little slip kind of nighty nightgown, um, you know, lingerie and very, very, you know, chic and um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like luxe, luxurious, you know, 100% silk. And I actually got this because it has the matching robe to it. So the robe is this exact same print. Again, it's 100% silk. And the belt loop, one of the little belt loops came unattached on one side. So that's over in my office. I'm waiting to, you know, get with my grandma, my seamstress to have her fix that. Um, and then I will sell them as a set. This is the tag. The brand does not matter to me. Just the fact that, you know, this is silk and a size large and, you know, it's a two piece set. It's a very, very nice kind of set there. More free people, very slouchy kind of grunge sweater, the little terry cloth accent at the wrist. It is a cold shoulder, um, you know, super slouchy. You can almost wear this kind of like off shoulder a little bit. And this is a size medium. This is a fun pickup, wild fox. It's like an eagle graphic with feathers. And I love the cut of this shirt. It has like kind of wide sleeves. It looks super flattering and you know, I love the graphic. If you guys haven't noticed, I love my graphic t-shirts. This is an older Wild Fox tag, but that's definitely okay. It's a size extra small. Some of the prints from Wild Fox can be kind of collectibles. So, you know, keep an eye out for those. We have Athleta. This was just a quick pickup at the bins, size small. It's a heather gray boxy long sleeve top with a cutout in back and the twist at the bottom hem. This is an easy $20, $25 sale. Kind of same thing with this, you know, quick $25 to $28 sale. American Eagle Outfitters, extra small. This is the older tag, but it is a very kind of classic cardigan. You know, it has a little bit extra flare with this fun little print and then the fringe at the bottom hem um, again with like a black wool hat and you know like a black tank top underneath some black skinny jeans and booties this would be adorable as well as the fact also because it is five percent wool blue and gray i have mentioned this several times in the past but Signature soft, it's all one word, signature soft fabric from Lou and Gray. It's like a material that they have named that. Um, you know, it's like St. John has Santana knit, Jay McLaughlin has Catalina cloth. Lou and Gray's is signature soft fabric. And the fabric makeup is, I think it's 90, 
let me see, 97% rayon, 3% spandex. So if you see that as a material tag on a Lou and Gray piece that is signature soft, it's incredibly soft, cozy, comfortable. It's a keyword, people search for it. Even though this is just a basic black tee, someone you know will want that essential kind of wardrobe staple. That's probably 18 to $20 sale. More free people. This is a size medium and it's it sits like you know lower on your shoulders it's a green background striped sweater and i think this yeah this is also six percent wool yet another kind of quick bins pickup pure jill from j jill size extra small and I liked that this was 100% linen it's a neutral color and it is a midi length so like I was mentioning earlier midi maxi links especially in 100% linen sell great this one does have pockets these are fun I think this is the newer tag I haven't sold this brand in quite some time young fabulous and broke size extra small and these are fold over waist tie-dye jogger sweatpants how fun are these they have the banded cuffs at the bottom and if you can see they have almost like this um, raw edge just you know a detail that a nicer item would have um, it does have one pocket in back and again these pockets are still sewn shut so I don't think anyone ever wore that wore those this was an excellent find Vince size medium this is the older tag which I tend to shy away from but I love the cut it's like a cowl neck sweater let me see if I can there yeah it's like a cowl neck you know loose fitting sweater this is the sleeve here I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job with this at all um, but the fabric makeup was what really excited me so it's 50% merino wool 20% nylon 20% alpaca and 10% camel so this probably retailed for $350 maybe I'm probably going to list that kind of high, maybe at like a hundred ish, just because you know the quality is definitely there. It is in really good shape, and you know, camel, alpaca, merino wool, excellent fabric makeup. Yet again, free people, <laughs> a keyhole opening in back. This is just you know a classic little um, basic shirt, size small. This is a brand, it's an athletic brand, ZYIA. I highly suggest you guys keep an eye out for this. It is very popular, it sells very quickly. Size small, this is just a little tank top. I would have preferred, you know, a more substantial piece, but I will definitely take what I can get. So this is kind of their little logo. It's like a moon. Athleta, I already listed this and it does have several likes. It's like 95% cotton, 5% cashmere, all natural fabrics. It's a pullover hoodie. It's like a lightweight hoodie. It has a kangaroo pocket in front and you know, just a nice kind of throw on and go piece. This brand again sells very well for me it it's one of those brands like I was mentioning it really drives traffic to my closet really it doesn't have a super high retail price so the resale price um, you know also isn't very high but it sells quickly and it just seems very trendy so this looks exactly like a sweater that anthropology made by moth um, it looks very similar to that. 
Speaking of anthropology, this is probably one of my favorite items in the haul. Tila or TLA size extra large, which is awesome. This is a shacket or a shirt jacket, which were very, very popular for a little bit. I think they're still pretty popular, um, especially going into fall time. And this, it has patch pockets and everything has like a raw edge around it, which is super cool. Kind of adds that grungy vibe. So yeah, I really like this. I love pieces like this in my personal collection. You can, you know, wear them open with a tank top under or button it up. Rag and bone. I need to do a lot of lint rolling on this dress. I washed it, but I didn't dry it because I didn't want to shrink it at all. And every piece of lint in my entire apartment, I think, was attracted to this dress. It's just one of those, you know, types of fabrics that attracts. But this is so cute. It looks like it'd be so flattering. It's just a little black dress um, and it does have pockets here. This is a size two. J. Jill once again. Oh, this is pure Jill. This is a size extra large. So the fact that it is, you know, a bigger size combined with the style of this, it's like a, a you know, pullover hoodie style. And it is 5% cashmere. So all those reasons I did get that. Tory Burch. 100% silk printed dress, size medium. I really like this print. I'm not normally a print person, but I think this is, um, you know, it's still neutral, but it does give kind of a pop to the piece. It has a kind of little uh, detail here that it's like a shirred ruched design that makes the waist very flattering. 100% silk. Again, this is probably like a $300 item, size medium. How fun is this? Hot Topic, which I definitely, you know, I, I'm not running for Hot Topic always, but this is a size large. And once again, I love the novelty prints, the music notes on this. It would be so fun for like a choir teacher to wear this or like a band director. It's a V-neck. more athleta these are size small tall this is once again very consistent bread and butter kind of piece for me the athletic kind of jogger pant well these aren't a jogger but they do have a drawstring down here so you could kind of um, cinch them in if you wanted to they have zippered pockets navy color Yet another sweater, can you guys tell? I am trying to ramp up for the cooler weather. I want to be very prepared with lots of sweaters in my closet when the seasons change. Airy, size medium. And this is just, you know, a plain kind of oversized chunky knit sweater, but honestly, those do really well for me, especially as bundle items. This also is, let me see. 20% wool and 5% alpaca. So, you know, if this were 100% acrylic, I would have left it behind, but the fabric content does elevate it. St. John, a very exciting piece here. St. John collection, actually, size 10. And this is a button down cardigan with a contrast white trim. And how Look at how beautiful these buttons are. I absolutely love, is it showing? Let me see. Absolutely love the pearl. Not sure if that is focusing. I think you guys can see them there, but these buttons are just really pretty. They're like a pearl center with like a white enamel kind of encasing the pearl. It does have shoulder pads and I think this this type of piece from St. John 
will sell very well. It is the Santana Knit, which is the most popular fabric from St. John. It also is a larger size and you know, it's a classic cut cardigan. This was a style based pickup. It's just vintage Jones, New York sport, which, you know, in and of itself isn't anything to, you know, get crazy excited for, but I just loved the 90s Y2K cut of this tank top mixed with the grid kind of window pane print here. I liked the square neckline and I think this should sell really quickly based on style, size eight. Last couple pieces here, even more free people. This is like a, it's an elastic uh, ruched waist. It's like a smocked waist tank top. And you know, again, just a closet staple. It's like a slub cotton size medium. This I found in a bin and I went crazy. I tore the entire bin apart looking for the dress that I thought might have come away from this slip, this slip dress. It is the brand Doen, definitely a bolo. You guys should memorize this tag and logo. This is 100% cotton. I think though this didn't have a dress. I think it's just a slip. So I just listed it as that. If I were to have found the dress, I think I would have fainted because this brand is very expensive. It resells close for the retail price, but you know, I'm happy to have found that. And our very last piece is a pair of men's North Face pants, size medium, size medium, and these are the convertible zip off pants. So great for hiking, you know, you're in the daytime, you're hot, you wanna wear your shorts, but then it goes into nighttime. So you just zip on your pants leg. <laughs> and these are in great shape. Very excited to throw these up over in my men's closet. And that is absolutely everything for this haul. I have a huge pile here now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.